Well, folks, we've had to stop because bro's got us lost again. Uh, well, hello. hello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Spiz. Bro is back. He's here again. We're going on a trip into the unknown. We're going up towards Fask. We're going looking for octagons and bridges and other weird and wonderful things. Stay with us, folks. It's a glorious day. Happy Ishtar, everybody. Well, folks, we've had to stop because bro's got us lost again. Uh, where where hello. are we? You said to head to Fordoon, we? and we're heading to Fordoon and Lons Coke. That's where we're that's heading where, Well, that's where the thing is we're going to. But then that's you fine. suddenly went, I don't know where we're going. Oh, no, because you we're said lost. we wanted to go to Fask. So I'm just looking to see where it's Fask a is. Far, it's a Fask. It's a what? It's a, it's a... Here we go, right? Bro's got the book now. Right, this is it. John Carnegie. Let's see what the rest of it says. Oh! Hey. Hello there. Well, we've got a bit of indecision here, folks, whether to go to Fetter Ken or head up that way towards uh, Fask. We're not sure which way it's going to go. I think we're going to go the Fetter Ken way, though. But in the meantime, I was looking for something for my tea, so. Uh, Grab one of these. Come yeah. here. Spot bro, there he is. Right, folks, well, the, uh, the professional microphone has come out, and you can see the Spismobile away in the distance there. As we are now going to have a little search, a little explore around the Blackwater Rail Whale <laughs> Railway Bridge area. Here we go. Oh, we have some uh, dog fouling going on. Yes. Here we go. Right, well, as you can see, folks, we have our microphones out here. Now, I've just ordered a smaller microphone from... Uh, <laughs> mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> from uh, from eBay. So hopefully these big carbuncly things will be away. Although we were just saying, though, we, we do like having these um, these homemade things. You know, it adds to the business off the occasion, I think. We don't want to get too technical. Right, it's quite windy down here, isn't it? It's a bit chilly. Right, here we are, though. Might be a good shot there, bro. Yeah, it's a good photograph. So there we are, this is bridge ECNS 133 stroke 274. Thank you. This reminds me of the A-teamer. You damn pool! <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think of the bridge, bro? Yeah, I'm quite impressed actually, yeah. Yes. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10 on the bridgeometer. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's, it's quite a good structure, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I quite like it. Nice. The current out there is really strong though. Look at the speed of that. Wow. Right, folks. Well, unfortunately, we seem to have misnamed this bridge. I thought Bro said it was called the Blackwater Bridge. Then he said it was the Northwater Bridge. However, we think it might be Mainly Kirk and Viaduct, according to that uh, so, sign. Well, there we go. Anyway, it's a massive structure, huge massive structure, and it is very impressive indeed. Right, there we go. That's part one of the, the road trip today, folks. Here we go. On to part two now. Now, dog fouling on this path. We've found a few dog jobbies here. It's a shocking thing. Now, if you've got a dog, for heaven's sake, pick up after it. 
it's ridiculous. The amount, the amount of, yeah, the amount of, you know, stuff that Bro and I come across on these paths is crazy. I think what they should do, the punishment for dog owners who don't pick up their dog foul, the dog fouling, is to get the owner's face and rub it in the dog jobby, like you do when a dog's been bad. And I'm sure that would stop them doing that again. It's, it's, it really is ridiculous, man. Oh, God, I've just stood in one, I think. <laughs> Look at bro's microphone, it's sticking out of the back of his nap. <laughs> right, folks, well, we, we still seem Nervous. to be lost. We're not quite Nervous. sure. We're, we're in Fetikale. We've come through the arch, as you will see on bro's behind the scenes video. And we're not sure how to get to where we're supposed to be going. But bro thinks he knows, so. Pressure's on, folks. Pressure's on. Here we go. I may be shouting shortly, folks. <laughs> Well, folks, we have eventually arrived here at the Fask Estate. Now, what we're going to be looking for in through the gates here, we have something called the Octagon, which is an old folly that was used as a card sort of playing house back in the 17th century. And also there's a Chinese bridge, I seem to remember, some deer, and uh, there's a couple other bits and pieces, a church or something as well, I seem to remember. So here we go, we're going... Walking, I'm in Fask now. Who's that? Bro, doing something. There's a bit of a really old petrol pump here, folks. Yes. Avery Hard Doll or something? Excellent. There he goes. Oops, sorry about the shaky bit. Well, there we go. That was St. Andrew's Church. So I don't know if we've got any footage there, folks, because uh, my gimbal thing, well, I don't think it was working. We don't know if it's, if it's got the footage to download or not. But now we are on the search for the Chinese bridge and the octagon. Yes. Oh, it's a good noise, though. We like the gravel noise. Yes. Right, this is round the back of... Fask House. Now this house was lived in by, I'm sure it was Gladstone. What was he famous for? He was a Prime Minister of Britain oh, for a while. Well our path seems to be hindered somewhat folks. There's a gate there and I don't know where we're supposed to be heading. Through the woods? I don't know man. Just do it. Let's do it. Oh, it's a bit of a bit of a quandary here at Spiz now. We're not sure whether we are um, encroaching upon somebody's private land if we walk through the woods. Come on, let's just do it, man. Shall we? What do you think, bro? Yeah, I know. Well, how did we get the last time? Well, folks, you may have noticed I've been trying a few different uh, tripods recently. The one I'm using now is the pistol grip kind of one, and I don't think it's particularly good for being outdoors. It does seem to be a bit, a bit more of a, an indoory kind of... Uh, oh, somebody's house, bro. Yeah. Um, it seems to be more of an indoory sort of tripod thing, this one. So, uh, yeah. So uh, we're going to give this one a... I missed next time we're going out. We're going to keep my other one, which is uh, yeah, I think the, other one looks a the clamp. We're going to give them more names. Is that the one I was going to get, that one? No. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I think it was, yes. So it's not... Well, I've seen that you could do a clamp thing on it as well. No, that's the one, I, that's the one I've got, the clamp, yes. Because yeah, it's not very steady. Right, anyway, look at this old cottage here, look. Well, spits really are in the wild now, folks. It's getting a bit... Yeah. As you can see, there's nobody here. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
No, it's, uh, it's getting very dark and, and stormy now as we head into the woods here, still looking for the Chinese bridge. Oh, he's got his microphone caught. <laughs> Is he in? He's done the backwards manoeuvre in. Ooh. Well done. Right, here I go. This is the backwards manoeuvre through the hedge. Ow. Ooh. Ouch. Oh. Ow. Oh. Ow. Crikey. Right, I made it. Oh. Right, people, we're in. We are in the woods and heading towards, hopefully, the Chinese bridge. It's going to be a bit of a disaster here. I'm trying to cross this now. Oh, oh made it. Ooh, well, <laughs> well, we saw the bridge. Behind the scenes saw it first, but it's in front of us. And you have to say multi trepidatione multi trepidatione That's the one. Right, we've seen it, folks. So here we go. The lost Chinese folly in the middle of Fask Woods. Can you see it, folks? There it is. Coming into view now. There we go. Okay, here it is. A bit dilapidated as you can see, but there we go. We're going over. Right, there we go, made it over the bridge. Excellent. What do you think, bro? Yes, it's, um, it's not as grand as I remember, but still very nice, yeah. Excellent. There it is. We made it, folks. Now, on the speedometer, the journey here was really good. Enjoyed the search for it. And when we got here, well, as I said, it's not quite as grand as what we remember, but it's still a great little thing to see. Built around about the 1700s, and it's still standing. So today, folks, on the speedometer, we're going to give this bridge a four and a half. Yes, I would agree. Out of ten on the speedometer. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you the Fask Folly Chinese Bridge. Thank you.